next. Hello. If you have a Canon ESM, then you should know of a major uh, design flow when it comes to video recording. Uh, basically, when if you're recording video, you're generally doing it handheld, and uh, that means you're holding the camera with your hand while while recording. Your finger is definitely going to be on the shutter because that's how you uh, stop or well, you could probably use the red uh, record button here to start and stop, but generally your pointer is always rests on the button here, up here. But you should, as you can see, the switch between video, photography and full auto mode is right around the uh, shutter button and it's very easy to move it with your finger. It's not, it's not tight, it's just so smooth. What happens is if you're recording video under the weight of the lens, sometimes you have to you have to kind of just press on the camera like this to get a good grip. If you have if if anything happens and the camera shakes in your hand, it's happened several times to for, to me. When I'm recording video, the camera shakes, and what happens is that just a little shake and goes back to photography mode, cutting off the uh, video re recording. I had to find a way around it and that was by adding a, a DIY grip to the area around here. This is the grip that I made. I made it out of thermal, pl thermal plastic uh, that I've shaped as a uh, plate right under the whole camera body and fitted it with a quarter quarter inch uh, screw into the into the tripod mount. Uh, it protrudes a little to the front, taking the shape of the grip, which I actually took from an old uh, Canon EOS 1000F film camera uh, that was not working and uh, create thus creating the the, the grip itself. Uh, it did. Uh, it it did. Uh, I did make it out of just mere plastic at the beginning, and then I used the 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 EOS grip, the 1000F grip, just to make it look better. Uh, and of course, it does a lot. But this this thermal plastic is very difficult to deal with. It wasn't very easy to mold into this shape, and uh, and of course, it's not fine. You can see it's kind of sloping down a little bit here. It's a bit loose. I could do a lot to uh, make it. To perfect it a little bit more but I don't think I'm going to. What this little grip does is that it gives you this thickness here. There. It gives you this thickness around uh, this area so you're grabbing the weight of the lens and uh, the camera with, 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 with the rest of your fingers with your grip much more securely and you don't have and you don't have to use this Button, which uh, this finger, which you can actually rest uh, in front of the button rather than on it, and this really helped me not uh, switch the camera to photography from video while recording at all. Uh, what else? Well, as you can see, I've used a quarter inch screw, which basically means you can no, I can no longer mount the camera on a tripod, but this is where. The EOS to e, uh, the FM to uh, to EF adapter comes in because it ha already has its own uh, screw mount. So if you if you're using an EF or EFS lens, you can definitely use use this grip with a tripod. With an EF lens, you're not there's no luck with this uh, prototype. If you want, uh, you just have to find another way to mount this screw. Uh, this is all really. Uh, this is the first DIY that I'm sharing online. Uh, I found it quite uh, useful. I haven't found any EOS grips online, so I'm sure this is worth sharing. I hope you like it. Thank you.